हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वेटलैंड्स एंड रामसर कन्वेंशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट आर वेटलैंड्स इकोलॉजिकल इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ वेटलैंड्स बायोडाइवर्सिटी हॉटस्पॉट्स वेटलैंड्स एंड ह्यूमन वेलबींग थ्रेड्स टू वेटलैंड्स कंजर्वेशन स्ट्रैटेजीज एंड लास्टली रामसर कन्वेंशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर वेटलैंड अकॉर्डिंग टू वेटलैंड कंजर्वेशन एंड मैनेजमेंट रूल्स ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन वेटलैंड आर एरियाज ऑफ मार्श फेन पीट लैंड और वॉटर वेदर नेचुरल और आर्टिफिशियल परमानेंट और टेम्प्ररी विद वॉटर दैट इज स्टैटिक और फ्लोइंग फ्रेश ब्रैकिश और सॉल्ट इंक्लूडिंग एरियाज ऑफ मेरीन वॉटर द डेप्थ ऑफ विच एट लो टाइड डज नॉट एक्सीड सिक्स मीटर्स Ramsar Convention also defined wetlands in the same manners. Each wetland differs due to variations in soils, landscape, climate, water regime and chemistry, vegetation and human disturbance. Four general categories of wetlands are marshes, swamps, bogs and fens. Marshes are periodically saturated, flooded or ponded with water and characterized by herbaceous or non-woody vegetation adapted to wet soil conditions swamps are fed primarily by surface water inputs and are dominated by trees and shrubs occurring in either fresh water or salt water flood plains bogs are fresh water wetlands characterized by spongy peat deposits with a growth of evergreen trees and shrubs and fens are ground water fed peat forming wetlands covered by grasses sedges reeds and wild flowers Now moving on to ecological importance of wetlands. Wetlands play an integral role in the ecology of the watershed. The combination of shallow water, high levels of nutrients and primary productivity is ideal for the development of organisms that form the base of the food web. Many species of birds and mammals rely on wetlands for food, water and shelter, especially during migration and breeding. Wetlands microbes plants and wild fire are part of global cycles for water nitrogen and sulfur furthermore scientists are beginning to realize that atmospheric maintenance may be an additional wetlands function wetlands store carbon within their plant communities and soil instead of releasing it to the atmosphere as carbon dioxide thus wetlands help to moderate global climate conditions Now let's discuss about biodiversity hotspots. Wetlands are renowned for their exceptional biodiversity, often referred to as biodiversity hotspots. They support an astonishing variety of species, both terrestrial and aquatic. Wetlands serve as critical nesting and foraging sites for waterfowl, shorebirds and other avian species. The diverse aquatic habitats within wetlands harbor an abundance of fish, amphibians, reptiles and invertebrates additionally wetland vegetation including unique wetland adapted plants contributes to the richness of these ecosystems ambitious policy and on the ground action is needed to conserve wetlands and save their unique wildlife now let's discuss about wetlands and human well-being the value of wetlands extends beyond their ecological importance they also have significant benefits for human well-being Wetlands contribute to sustainable livelihoods by providing valuable resources such as fish, timber, medicinal plants, etc. They serve as a source of fresh water, contribute to sustainable agriculture through irrigation, and offer potential for aquaculture. They offer recreational opportunities like bird watching, boating, and ecotourism, boosting local economies. Moreover, wetlands act as natural buffers against flooding. reducing the impact of storms and protecting communities along coastlines and river banks now let's have a look at threats to wetlands wetlands are disappearing three times faster than forests and are earth's most threatened ecosystem nearly 90% of the world's wetlands have been degraded since the 1700s since 1970 that is in 50 years 35% of the world's wetlands have been lost Despite their immense value, wetlands face numerous threats: habitat destruction due to urbanization, 
agriculture and industrial activities poses a severe risk to these ecosystems. Pollution from industrial and agricultural runoff degrades water quality and disrupts delicate ecological balances. Climate change with rising sea levels and altered precipitation patterns further exacerbates the vulnerability of wetlands. Invasive species also pose a significant threat by outcompeting native plants and animals. Now let's talk about conservation strategies. Wetlands are critically important ecosystems that contribute to biodiversity, climate mitigation and adaptation, freshwater availability, world economies, etc. It is urgent that we raise national and global awareness about wetlands in order to reverse their rapid loss and encourage actions to conserve and restore them. Recognizing the importance of wetlands, conservation efforts are being undertaken worldwide. International agreements like the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands promote wetland conservation and sustainable use. Governments, non-profit organizations and local communities are actively involved in wetland restoration, protection and sustainable management practices. Educating the public about the value of wetlands and their role in supporting biodiversity is crucial for long-term conservation success. Now let's discuss about Ramsar Convention. This intergovernmental treaty called the Convention on Wetlands was adopted in the Iranian city of Ramsar in 1971 and came into force in 1975. It provides the framework for the conservation and wise use of all wetlands through local and national actions and international cooperation. The Convention Strategic Plan 2016-2024 to includes a series of actions that are directly related to sustainable development including water, livelihoods, biodiversity, disaster risk reduction, resilience and carbon sinks. Parties have also adopted a specific framework on water including river basin management, water allocation and groundwater. The aim of the Ramsar list is to develop and maintain an international network of wetlands which are important for the conservation of global biological diversity. There are currently over 2,400 Ramsar sites around the world. They cover over 2.5 million square kilometers, an area larger than Mexico. The network of Ramsar sites includes coastal and inland wetlands of all types. The Convention on Wetlands works to reverse wetland loss and degradation worldwide. There are 75 Ramsar sites as of February 2023. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims based question. Consider the following statements. 1. Under Ramsar Convention, it is mandatory on the part of the Government of India to protect and conserve all the wetlands in the territory of India. 2. The Wetlands Conservation and Management Rules 2010 were framed by the Government of India based in the recommendation of Ramsar Convention. 3. The Wetlands Conservation and Management Rules 2010 also encompass the drainage area or catchment regions of the wetlands as determined by the authority. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 3 only or 1, 2 and 3. And now main question, what is wetland? Explain the Ramsar concept of wise use in the context of wetland conservation. Cite two examples of Ramsar sites from India. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.